as promised, the Vault of Generations. <laughs> Welcome everybody, Harlequin here. We are finally on hard. You've earned it. Now for some tougher challenges. The Vault of Generations set is supposed to be really hard, or at least listed as hard. So this is maybe where our videos start taking a little, a little bit harder turn. You know what I mean? Let's do it. Frozen Shadows to beat the Beast in general in one turn. No help, no nothing, just defeat her in one turn with what you have. Alrighty, so let's analyze the battlefield. Provoke, that's going to cause a problem. What do we have on our... Whenever you summon a Vesper minion, this minion gains one attack. Infiltrate gains two attack when it's on the other side of the field. Alright. What do we have here? Your general gains three attack. That's a general buff, so that's going to have to be applied right away. Give a friendly minion three attack. If it's Vesper, also give it three health. So that's our Vesper. This is also a Vesper as well. Give a friendly minion two attack. It takes no damage this turn. Uh. Summon three, join two, two Vesper walls. Minions that attack these walls are stunned. Huh. Well, they're not in range of the taunt, of the provoke. So I move this here. I feel like he's going to be the one to destroy it, and this one needs to go to the other side. So we're going to move him here. We're gonna give it the uh, the three attack. Oh, it's still not gonna be enough though. Mm. This one's gonna be a little difficult. Minions that attack these walls are stunned. I don't see the point of summoning them here though. I'm actually just playing around with this now. He gets seven. Yeah, so it is kind of as I had originally thought. However... We still have a problem here though. Cause that's six, that's still not enough to kill her. And obviously moving her forward means I won't be able to do anything here. Yeah. So, hmm. This one is pretty tricky. Cause we have so many options we can go through here. I want to test something. Does he gain two attack by being there? No, he doesn't. All right. So I still feel like that was the right plan, at least. I gave him five. Hmm. <laughs> the only way for infiltrate to activate is if that one isn't there. I can't destroy it with Faye. Which means it has to be the bear. Like it just has to be, but Faye can't reach. But then I need to buff that one. Oh, well, that buffs his attack to three to four. Oh, is this is it really as simple as that? So six, that's enough to destroy that. That's five. That's seven. Still not enough.
She can go that far as well, by the way. Whoops. Alright, those trees are just there just to give him the buff. Infiltrates. And it takes no damage. They both have Provoke and Shadow Strength, which gives them the boosted attack. Hmm. Oh, I think I see it. I think. Oh, I'm not sure though. Is that even gonna work? What? But why would it work? That makes no sense. Alright, I think I see what I'm supposed to do. If I'm not mistaken. But then that means those don't matter at all, do they? Alright, we're gonna just gonna I'm just gonna try something. So bam, he dies. She's gonna come in. Hit him. He'll do one damage, but he will die. And bop this guy over here. Then give him this buff. And then give him this buff. And that's it. She's dead. So then what was this? This was for nothing. Ah, now they're doing that, huh? Where they're gonna give you cards where there's nothing for it. It's just to throw you off. Ah, I was wondering if they were gonna do that. I think I said that two videos ago. Now, <laughs> oh, you guys are evil. All right, well, that one was difficult. Man, now we know what we're up against. Vitruvian Winds of Change. Bolster your dervishes and bring down the Songhai General. Well, at least we got a hint. <laughs> so bolster my dervishes. All righty. So once again, analyze the battlefield. We got to provoke over here. Backstab won't matter. Whenever you cast a spell, deal one damage, so that's not gonna matter. And they're not going to matter. Alright. What about him? He's got Provoke. That's going to matter. So let's see. So I'm going to copy of this minion onto a nearby space. So that's not going to matter, obviously. Can be targeted by spells. By enemy spells. Alright, so that won't matter. Okay. So when Dervish no longer disappears, give a nearby friendly minion to attack. Your Dervishes have plus one attack. Destroy a random artifact on the enemy general. On the enemy in general, summon a wind dervish with rush near them. Ah, but the provoke though. See, there's an issue there. All right, so we'll play this first. He controls all those spaces. We're gonna have to play it there, I believe. And this wind dervish is about to get a whole lot of buffs, 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 buff, buffs. All right, we're gonna play this here. Then give a nearby friendly minion to attack your 2 2 to a friendly dervish. If it's wind dervish, no longer spears. So that goes to him. Actually, wait, I wanna do something else. Hold on. I'm still gonna do this one. I'm gonna put him there. And then I wanna put this guy there. Oh, wait. And there we go. And then put him there, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, now we need to take him down. Right? I think so. But do I want to waste it on that, though? Is that really how I need to work? Ugh, I don't know. I might need to put him over there. Alright, well let's just roll with it and let's see what happens. So, bop him, bop him. But then he can't get up there. Oh, see how that works? Now he can't get up there. So that doesn't work. Still feel like the best bet's gonna be like up here or something. 
Actually, it should be right here, though. It really should. My dervishes have one attack. Well, this isn't going to matter at all. Because it's, it's going to be exhausted, so it can't move or anything. I think this one kind of like... Hmm... So total this can give 4 to this, which would be 8, 9, 10, 11, still not going to be enough. Unless I move him here. Will this work? Let's find out. Alright, so we're going to do this, give it to him, and then this. Give it to him. And then bop him. Come here. I want you to bop him also. And then you come bop him. Bam. There we go. I had to kind of quiet down to think with my brain. My brain tool a little bit. But we got it. We got it. It all worked out in the end, didn't it? Alrighty. Whew. Number three, already halfway there. Come on, game. You gotta be more challenging. Lionar, dead center. No tips whatsoever. Oh man, I did say more challenging, right? Ooh, what do we got here? All right, the darn stun things are back. Rangers must attack this minion first. So range minions have to attack him first. Ooh, that's interesting. That that one's there just to be there. Destroy any minion, restore that minion's health to its general. So would that be to my general? Does my general need health? Let's well, attack the provoker first. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. All right, I want to try something. Let's move him here. Let's get rid of that. Whoa, what happened? All right, I'm a little confused. Wait, why did he die? All right, move him up here. He did attack that one. Oh, right. Derp to attack. For some reason I saw that in reverse. Alright, well. Oh, well, this was it really that obvious? Was it really that obvious? Attack that one. Then the general comes up. No, because in the general attack is this and it destroys it, cool, but she can't do anything. See, she can't do anything. Alright, so. Hmm. Whenever this attacks or counterattacks, it dispels the enemy. Oh, really? So, oh my goodness, my brain's working. It's working here. So this will dispel an enemy if it attacks. Do I want to kill that? I think so.
Yeah? No, because then he's got 7 health, though. You know, I need to recognize there's nothing that can kill that, is there? Oh, no, because Dispel. Dispel! Oh! Oh, we did it! Wait, what? Any nearby minion to health to but minus two health. That derp. Well, we did it, but we didn't do it right. All right. So once again, move him up. Attack it because he won't get stunned. Move him up and dispel, which means it silences that. We need to put him by her. There we go. And then bopper. Bopped. There we go. Woo! Man, that one that one was challenging. I'll give him that one. That one was very interesting. I had to really think outside the box for that. Man, way to go, game. I that was quite intellectually challenging. <laughs> Alright, busy and power overwhelming. Defeat the general in one turn. Alrighty. So the backstab won't matter. So many tax games one one. So that won't matter unless Ooh. Maybe some Wraithling that gets 2-2. Two, two. Alrighty. So these won't be able to attack. They're going to be exhausted. So they're just cannon fodder to buff him up. When your general deals damage, you summon one more. Give a friendly Wraithling 4-4. Four, four, so it can one-shot it. Alright, because it needs to get it out of the way. I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Alrighty. Oh, okay. And then lasso him to our beloved general. This one was just there to be there. She can smack him in the face. And because she summons a minion, he has 14. And suddenly you are annihilated, my good sir. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed your stay. But you are gone. That was pretty good. I play with Abyssian a lot, so I'm I'm gonna give that one a I kinda play her so much that I kinda knew that trick. Or not that specific trick, but you know, I, I got what I needed to do. Defeat the general one turn, another difficult one here. Once again analyze our battlefield, them two well he doesn't matter. Who are you? Rebirth. You won't matter. You'll turn into an egg. Start of your turn, deal 4 damage. Yeah, you don't matter. So they don't matter. None of them have provoke. Alright, so what do we got here? Whenever you cast a spell, deal 1 damage to the enemy general and restore 1 health to mine. Cast a spell. This minion gains 1-1. One, one. So I need to cast spells, obviously. So it's undisasted min friendly minion with 3 or less attack. So 3 damage to a minion or general. He's got 25. Ooh. Could you imagine if this was your opening thing about it? he's got 25? It doesn't even matter what health you got. He's got 25, you have 3 mana, you have all these in your deck. Actually, I don't think it's possible to have that many cards and these minions this early in the game. So never mind, but I'm just saying though, that, that, that's insane. Alright, so we cost one less. One. To, oh, well, obviously it's going to have to be used for that one. Given a minion or a general, three attack. Well, let me, let me play around real quick here. So, let me destroy him. And then move that up. And then, oh, because he's not, oh, see, that's why I play around. Alright, let's try this the other way around then. Before he destroys him, I want to use that buff. Whenever you cast a spell, deal one damage. But he can't go above three though. So that means I can only do two spells before I have to unexhaust him. So... Give a friendly minion 1-1 one, one, teleport to any space on the battlefield. Oh gosh, okay, well. 
Huh. Okay, hold on. Never mind then. One, one, teleport in the battlefield. So I need to teleport in here then, maybe? Let's go there, and then the, that buff. The minion or general three attack. I gotta make sure this adds up. So that's seven already. Mm, this is very difficult. Do I need to move him like this? now because he still won't reach yeah see Just trying to see how close we would get obviously I somehow need both of them over there so that's what's gonna be fun here Hmm. I feel like this has to be on this one. Like it just has to be. And this. Oh, but it turns into the egg. That's right. So destroying him won't matter. Can't use him to destroy him. This one's actually hard. Hmm. This is difficult. This one has to go on him. Like, there's no doubt about it. Hmm. That's as far as he could go. But again, he can't attack any of them. Unless... It was the original idea... Of what I thought. Go here. General attacks that. So this one moves over here. This one teleports. Do that. And then give him the eight. And then bam. Ah, but see, three or less attack though, it still doesn't work, see? Hmm. I thought I had a good plan there. I feel like that had to work. Hold on, let me try something else. Let me go over here. And one, one, teleport them over here. It gives them three, right? So attack. And then refresh him, right? And then attack again. And that still doesn't work though. It's still not enough. We're getting closer though. Five health left. Just gotta figure out how to optimize this right. Hmm. 
three or less attack. Everything else is buffing. So that one has to go to him. There's no doubt about it. Hmm. So total he can gain 5 by the way, and 6. With him, if I were to do both those buffs, right, yeah, both those buffs, then that's 4, so that's 8. So that's 6 and 8. 10 if I'm counting that. And then using all the spells, that'll deal 5 damage. That's a total of 19. That doesn't seem like enough if I did it that way. Right? 6, 8. So that's 3, that's 4. And even if I hit him with a 3, that's still not enough, right? Because if I were to hit him for some godly reason, that's still three. I still don't understand how I'm supposed to get there. You is quite a difficult conundrum this is. Wait a minute. No, it couldn't be that. Difficult. Oh my gosh. What if I destroy him? I feel like that's not right, but what if I do? Alright, I this isn't gonna work because then he needs to be over there by then. Ah, yeah, that's not going to work. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Man, this is the one that stumps me, isn't it? Would that really work? Alright, so giving him the 1-1 one, one teleporting. And then attacking. And then the exhaust, right? And then... Give him the 3 attack. Eight. And then shoot him down by three. 
Move him here. Now he's had enough to survive this guy. Oh my god, we got it. Ah, there we go. Ah, I kept wondering, like, he has one health though, but he can't survive it. But if we use all five spells, he would have enough. So my plan was, how can I use all five to get him to be above it? Let's just take care of that right now. To survive this guy up top. I this possible, but our little guy over here that got one health feels like the exhaust. Oh man. Well we got it. I can't <laughs> I don't think I need to explain it. I think you kinda saw how I did it. I need to drink a water after that. I don't know why. I wasn't even talking and my throat is sore. Woo! That was a challenge. That one was hard. Ooh, duelist devs. Duelist devs, look at me. Look at me. Okay, look at my screen. That was hard. That one was genuinely hard. It was so unexpected, in my mind at least, what you had to do there. Because it didn't seem like your commander could do anything. But the thing about these challenges, usually everything is viable here. Like your commanders can, can do something. Except for this first one, where it was like there was that one card that wasn't useful at all. But everything was viable in this and in most of the challenges. So that's what kind of threw me off. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. It was a little bit longer than the others, as I expected for hard. But we're going on to the final one in the next video. So tune in for that. I hope to see you next time. And I hope your day's been a good one. So, uh, that's it. <laughs> the, the most awkward goodbye.